Hi, it's Lauren. It's been a few weeks since I did my hair last and it's getting a little bit fluffy, so I'm going to show you how I do my own buzz cut with minimal mess. First thing I do is I lay down a floor towel to stand over and catch all the hairs. Then I get my wall clipper with a number two guard. And I clean it up a bit with a brush because I'm not the only one who uses it in my family. Then you snap on the guard and don't worry about the adjustable fade lever thing over because it always slips to the shortest setting for me anyway and get straight to it because if I'm going to do this every month or so I want it to be as quick as possible. I start on the sides so I don't look like a balding man throughout most of the process and it's also not as thick there so the clipper doesn't struggle quite as much as it does on the top. Then I just keep making my way around the back bit by bit because with thick hair like mine the clipper can only handle so much. I just go by feel to start with and also listening to the sound the clipper makes in when it's actually cutting hair versus when it's just running over already cut hair to tell if I've more or less got everything in each section. But it doesn't have to be an exact science, I just get the bulk of it off and then we'll fine tune later. It also helps to go against the grain or direction of hair growth and continue to check yourself out. Around the crown, I take a lot of care and I focus on going in from all directions around the outside in towards the center. And you just got to accept that you will look like a funky chicken at some point and keep going. The spots that most likely get missed are around the hairline and the crown, so give them some extra love. Try not to take off your eyebrow like I nearly just did. Around the ears you can hold back your ear or just use it as a guide to run your clipper right along behind it. And then you can grab a hand mirror to look behind you into your big mirror and go over any spots you missed. And really just get in there until you're certain that there are no survivors and the clipper doesn't make a sound like it's actually cutting hair anymore. up a bit and then this is optional but I go in with my boyfriend's old beard trimmer which also has a number two guard I think to clean up my sideburns and nape but I don't do anything too fancy or too clean because it really is trickier than it looks. Clean up again, check that my skull hasn't become weirdly shaped since the last month. Now if you're good at aim with your head tilting skills then all the hair will have fallen on the towel for you to gather towards the middle and then tip it in the bin and then you're left with a clean floor. So now you can either go shower, get rid of your hairy t-shirt, or I usually bleach it straight after, which I'll run through in part two, but this time I just wanted to see how it looked in my natural brown, so here it is. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope you found it entertaining, whether or not you're actually considering doing it yourself. It's not in my business, but I'd say do it. Anyway, thank you so much. See you next time, but until then, look after yourself.